Relativity Space is in the process of developing multiple rockets that are almost entirely 3D printed. These rockets include Terran-1, an expendable small lift launch vehicle set to lift off in only months, and Terran-R, a fully reusable medium lift rocket. One of the most important components of Terran-R is its engines, which are also 3D printed. Just yesterday, Relativity CEO Tim Ellis shared some exciting information about Eon-R. Specifically, the first Eon-R engine build is nearing completion. In the last couple of months, we've seen more and more updates from the company as they begin to fire different parts of the engine. Now, we are getting close to an actual static fire with this next generation engine. This marks a major developmental milestone for Terranar, considering these engines will determine the rocket's power, payload capacity, and reuse opportunities. Combine this with the new infrastructure going up to support these tests, and Relativity is making extremely rapid progress. Here I'll go more in depth into this new engine update, how long before it's finished, what this means for the rocket program, and more. Developing and testing a next-gen engine is an immensely complex process that usually takes a significant amount of time. This being said, Relativity has been making almost constant progress on Eon-R in its future. Yesterday, Tim Ellis tweeted saying, First Eon-R engine build on track for completion soon. Awesome preparation by team and smooth process. This will also be power pack test article. First full engine hot fire test will be on second build article. This thing is a beast. And block 2 engine already in development. This included an image of the engine helping put in perspective how big it really is. Not to mention the fact that in the image, it's not the real nozzle, just a placeholder. Tim Ellis clarified that the real one is region cooled and much larger given the higher chamber pressure. In addition, when asked about what upgrades Block 2 will feature, he responded, Pump layout, most parts are improved and redesigned in some way from this Block 1 iteration. Mass, performance yes, but also reliability and getting closer to optimized design. Producibility and cost should improve as well. Eon-R is meant for Relativity's Terran-R launch vehicle. In total, seven of these engines will power the first stage and also be responsible for the reusability aspect. For reference, a couple months ago, Tim Ellis tweeted mentioning, Reminder for scale, Eon-R is huge versus Eon-1, over 10 times thrust. This is just the chamber. Nozzle plus pumps are disproportionately larger due to the pressures and power density involved. This included an image of the two right next to each other. Relativity's engines, Eon-1, Eon-R, and Eon-Vac, are 3D printed. This method is intended to enhance mission reliability by reducing part count in engine combustion chambers, igniters, turbo pumps, reaction control thrusters, and vehicle pressurization systems. All Eon engines use propellants of the future, liquid oxygen plus liquid natural gas, which are not only one of the best for rocket propulsion, but also the easiest to eventually make on other planets such as Mars. To date, Eon has completed thousands of test fires. The almost constant testing is a big reason why the company is making so much progress so fast. An upcoming benefit to this is additional land acquired in a deal with NASA in October last year. Specifically, NASA's Dennis Space Center joined with Relativity Space on October 18th as the company outlined plans for a major expansion of its rocket and engine test facilities at the South Mississippi site. Relativity Space plans to build comprehensive facilities in the Stennis Test Complex to test its Eon-R engines. The company envisions the completed project as one of the largest commercial test facilities in the nation. Relativity Space has already cleared the ground for the construction of several new facilities. Company plans call for construction of new engine test stands, office buildings, and a vehicle facility. The company already is housed in several other locations within the Stennis Test Complex. It also has existing agreements to test its engines and rocket components on various Stennis test stands. Even though this deal only happened months ago, the company is already close to done on a full Eonar test stand and water tower. In the coming months, we can expect much more progress. Now that we know more about Relativity's Eon-R progress, we can take a closer look at the Terran-R rocket and what Relativity is planned. Terran-R is Relativity's fully reusable, 3D printed rocket that will be capable of launching 20,000 kilograms to lower orbit. Terran-R is hoping to provide both commercial and government customers affordable access to space, in LEO and beyond. Relativity has big plans for the rocket, including using it to accommodate the company's growing pipeline of commercial interest, and also eventually offering customers a point-to-point -point space freighter capable of missions between the Earth, Moon, and Mars. In terms of the reusability aspect, while the company has not revealed very many details at all, they have continued to state fully reusable. The first stage and multiple renders features grid fins for a controlled descent and landing. However, it's unclear what exactly the plans are for the upper stage. Terranar has unique aerodynamic features with algorithmically generated and optimized structures. Relativity's proprietary 3D printing process is enabled by software and data-driven manufacturing, exotic 3D printing materials, and unique design geometries that are not possible with traditional manufacturing driving a faster rate of compounding progress and iteration in the industry. By fusing 3D printing, artificial intelligence, and autonomous robotics, Relativity is printing its rocket structure and engines, significantly reducing touch points and lead times, simplifying the supply chain, and increasing overall system reliability. 
Relativity highlights it can create its rockets, Terran-1 and Terran-R, from raw material within 60 days. By now in early 2023, the company is still targeting 2024 for the first launch of this rocket. While very ambitious, they have been making impressive progress on practically all the projects and major components. Months ago, they revealed the next generation of printers with many changes, designed specifically for this rocket. In addition, the first launch of Terran-1 will play an important role in Terran-R's future. For one, the two rockets, while different, share a lot of similarities. The engines, for example, are both 3D printed and follow somewhat of a similar design. Not to mention that this will be Relativity Space's first ever rocket launch. Currently, Terran 1 is on the pad and getting ready for its final tests. If they provide good results and Relativity is confident in the vehicle, Terran 1 will lift off for the first time in only a couple of months. Based on the company's progress, a launch in late March to April is realistic. Despite the fact that Terran 1 is very different from Terran R, aspects such as the 3D printing process will be put to the test. Depending on how the launch goes, we could see a lot of things change for Terran R. Officially, Relativity is scheduled for its first launch of Terran 1, called GLHF or Good Luck Have Fun, from Launch Complex 16 in Cape Canaveral in 2023. This launch will not include a customer payload, and instead of fairings, the rocket features a small nose cone. As a two stage, 110 foot tall, 7.5 foot wide expendable rocket, Terran 1 is the largest 3D printed object to exist and to attempt orbital flight. Working toward its goal of being 95% 3D printed, Relativity's first Terran 1 vehicle is 85% 3D printed by mass. Terran 1 has 9 Eon engines on its first stage and 1 Eon vac on its second stage. Like its structure, all Relativity engines are entirely 3D printed and use liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas, which not only provide benefits for rocket propulsion but also for reusability, an important quality for future rockets. As one of the few lock slash lng fueled rockets in the industry, Terran 1 is racing to be the first to fly. Both rockets rely on Relativity's proprietary Factory of the Future, which centers on Stargate, the world's largest metal 3D printers, that create Terran 1 and Terran R from raw material to flight in two months. By developing its Factory of the Future and rockets together, Relativity accelerates its ability to improve design, production, quality, and speed. They point out that for 60 years, aerospace manufacturing has relied on large factories, fixed tooling, complex supply chains, and extensive manual labor to build costly rockets comprised of 100,000 plus parts in two years or longer. This exact process is what Relativity is working to reinvent. Relativity Space is making very impressive progress on Terran R's 3D printed Eon R engines. For months now, we've been receiving somewhat consistent updates on hardware tests, static fires, and now the near completion of the first full Eon R engine. In the coming weeks, we can expect more information and eventually a full static fire of this engine. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.